So whether you want to sit on a blanket, <clears throat> bolster, pillow, or all the way down onto the mat, whatever feels best to you, just allow yourself to settle in. Palms can rest on your knees. Send your shoulders down the back away from your ears and just begin to close your eyes. Noticing any thoughts you may be having and allowing those thoughts to pass. Giving yourself the gift of love, kindness, and compassion and allow yourself to fully arrive into this space. And we'll sit up just a bit taller. Take a big full belly inhale in through your nose. And open your mouth. Sigh it out. Release. Let go. Good. Take another big full belly inhale in through your nose. And open your mouth. Sigh it out. Ground down just a bit deeper into the earth below you. We'll take another big full belly inhale, sipping in a little bit more air at the tippy tippy top. Hold once you get to the top. And open your mouth. Sigh it out, release, let go. And begin to form the connection to your full belly breath, your yogic breath, adding in any pranayama or breathing techniques that speak to you today. And while you're connecting to your breath and finding your rhythm, the work your light card that just came our way is trust the niggle. And it says, what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? Hmm. That feeling, that annoying feeling, that inconvenient, annoying, niggling feeling, try as you might, it's there and it ain't going anywhere. And most people spend years ignoring that feeling throwing their best dollops of stubbornness, ego, and post-rationalization to numb them out. It's exhausting, and until you face the feeling, life just throws you more bait to awaken it, to draw your attention to the light within you that is bursting and come out. And that feeling is an arrow pointing to what is standing in your way. The relationship, the conversation, the decision, the shift that needs to be made, the stone in your shoe. And often we feel that feeling in our body first. And many people think that intuition is something from the higher realms, but in fact, it is the body that is the intuitive one, working through our senses to deliver vibrational information. And it takes just a moment every day to scan your body to receive the intuitive intelligence and to act on it quickly. And you are being called to face that feeling right now. And if you don't face it, the universe will throw something much bigger and more obvious in your path. And then you will re likely regret that you didn't answer that feeling in the first place. And I know it's scary, but you are safe. And allow yourself to answer that inconvenient, annoying, niggling feeling right now. Hmm, I like that. And with those thoughts in mind, I invite you to create an intention for yourself within your practice. And maybe that intention is around allowing yourself to trust in the downloads that you're receiving, to allow yourself to trust in the callings that the universe is sending your way and to allow yourself to say yes to you. And whatever it may be, begin to visualize your intention. Breathe it into your body and make it your own as we open our practice in this moment of silence. And slowly begin to bring the awareness back into your body. Sit up just a bit taller. Take a big full belly inhale in through your nose. And open your mouth. Sigh it out. Good. Take another big full belly inhale, breathing in love and gratitude. And exhale as you send your love and gratitude back out to someone else in need. And then on your next inhale, you can open up your eyes or keep them closed. 
let's just add in a few neck rolls. So release your right ear to your right shoulder, send your left shoulder blade down the back away from your ear. Take an inhale, breathe into your neck stretch. And exhale nice and slow, sweep your chin across your chest, release your left ear to your left shoulder. Good, send your right shoulder blade down the back away from your ear, take an inhale, breathe into your neck stretch. And exhale, slowly sweep your chin across your chest, release to the opposite side. And just begin to flow through your neck rolls at your own pace, adding in any organic movement that speaks to you. As we open up our neck, shoulders, chest, upper back. You can even bring your gaze up to the sky if that feels good in your neck. And nice and slow, we'll do one more on each side. Just be mindful to keep your spine long, shoulders down the back away from your ears as you root your sit bones down to the mat. Good, and then on your next inhale, bring your gaze back to neutral. Sweep your arms up to the sky, bring your biceps in line with your ears. And then from here, release your right palm down next to you. Left arm reaches over towards the right for a side body stretch. Good, roll your left shoulder open, gaze comes up to the sky past your left elbow. Notice how your left side body feels. See if you wanna inch your right fingertips further away from you. Breathe into your left side body, inhale in through your nose. And exhale out through your mouth. Good, on your next inhale, engage your core, both arms sweep up. Exhale, release your left palm down next to you, right arm reaches over towards the left. Roll your right shoulder open, gaze can come up to the sky past your right elbow, maybe inch your left fingertips further away from you. Good, breathe into your right side body, inhale in through your nose. And exhale out through your mouth. On your next inhale, engage your core, both arms sweep up. Exhale, release your palms, your fingertips down next to you, and then cross the opposite ankle in front of the other coming into your awkward seat. Good, readjust. Inhale, hands sweep up to the sky. And exhale, hinge from your hips to fold forward. Just plant your palms down in front of you. Make sure that your sit bones are rooted down towards the mat. As you inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale to hinge deeper from your hips. Good, keep your spine long, avoid rounding in the upper back. Inhale, reach your crown of your head away from you. And exhale to fold just a bit deeper, hinging from your hips. Good job, and then staying low in the fold, begin to inch your palms, your fingertips over towards the right. Maybe plant your left palm on top of your right. Roll your left shoulder down towards the mat. Notice how your, your left low back feels as you inhale to lengthen your spine. And exhale to hinge deeper from your right hip. Perfect. On your next inhale, inch your palms, your fingertips back to center. And exhale, inch your palms, your fingertips over towards the left, nice and slow. Maybe plant your right palm on top of your left. Roll your right shoulder down towards the mat. Notice how your right side body, your right low back feels as you inhale to lengthen your spine. And exhale to hinge deeper from your left hip. Good, on your next inhale, inch your palms, your fingertips back to center. And from here, we'll begin to roll on up one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow. Head comes up last. Once you come on up, Extend your legs out long in front of you. Good, and then sweep your heels away from you coming into our seated straddle pose. So readjust your seat, move anything out of the way, root your sit bones down to the mat. From here, inhale, hand sweep up to the sky. And exhale, begin to release your right palm down on your right shin, left arm reaches over towards your right toes. Good, gaze comes up to the sky past your left elbow. See if you can hinge deeper from your right hip as you roll your left shoulder open. Breathing into your left side body, inhale in through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. Good, and then from here, begin to roll your left shoulder down towards the mat. Sweep or inch your palms through center as you release over towards the left. Grab onto your left shin, your ankle as you roll your right shoulder open. Maybe hinging deeper from your left hip, breathe into your right side body, inhale in through your nose. Good, and exhale out through your mouth. And then keep that going, roll your right shoulder down towards the mat, sweep your palms through center, release over towards the right. Roll your left shoulder open, take an inhale here. Exhale, roll your left shoulder down, sweep your palms through center, hinging deeper from your hips as you roll your right shoulder open. Good job, we'll do one more on each side. Roll your right shoulder down towards the mat, sweep through center, release over towards the right, roll your left shoulder open, perfect, inhale here. And exhale, roll your left shoulder down, sweep through center, release over towards the left, roll your right shoulder open. Good job, take an inhale here. 
and then exhale, roll your right shoulder down, plant your palms back to center, and then nice and slow, begin to roll on up one vertebrae at a time until you come on up. Once you lengthen your spine, send your shoulders on the back away from your ears, plant your right palm behind you, fingertips are pointing away from you, rotate your toes over towards the right, inhale, lift your hips up, press the earth away from you with your right palm, left arm reaches towards the back of the room. Good. Lower your hips back down. Rotate everything over towards the left, including your toes. Plant your left palm behind you. Good job. Inhale, lift your hips up. Exhale, lower back down. We'll do one more on each side. Rotate everything over towards the right. Inhale, lift your hips up even higher. Exhale, lower your hips back down. Rotate everything over towards the left. Inhale, lift your hips up even higher as you roll your heart up open to the sky. Perfect. Lower your sit bones back down. And then from here, we're going to sweep our knees out from underneath of us, meeting in tabletop foundation. Good. So in tabletop, spine is long, gaze is down to the mat. Wrists are stacked directly underneath shoulders, knees are stacked in our hips. On your inhale, drop your belly, tilt your sit bones up to the sky, shine your heart through. And exhale to tuck and round. Release your head and neck as you press the earth away from you. Good, keep that going. Inhale, drop your belly, tilt your sit bones up to the sky. And exhale to tuck and round. Begin your cat-cow flow with your own rhythmic breath, adding in any organic movement that speaks to you, adding any hip circles, shoulder circles, dropping back to child's pose if you'd like. And just take this moment to close your eyes. Really begin to feel the connection to your breath, to your body, <clears throat> check in with your mind your soul, your emotions. Notice how you're truly feeling today and just be mindful to give yourself what you need in your own unique practice. Okay. Honoring your body, honoring your feelings, allowing your breath to guide you through whatever you're experiencing. Good, two more breaths, wherever you are, exaggerating your movements a tiny bit more. And then on your next inhale, meet back in neutral tabletop, readjust your foundation. Good. From here, extend your right leg long behind you, right heels in line with your right hip. Tuck your back left toes for added support. And then right knee to right tricep to crunch. Good. Inhale, extend right leg long behind you. Exhale, right knee to left tricep to crunch and twist. Inhale, extend right leg long. Exhale, right knee to right tricep. Inhale, right leg long. Exhale, right knee to left tricep. Good. One more on each side. Inhale, right leg long behind you. Exhale, right knee to right tricep. Inhale, right leg long. Exhale, right knee to left tricep to crunch and twist. Good job. Inhale, extend right leg long. And then, excuse me, tap your right toes down to the mat. Roll onto the inner edge of your right foot. We'll tuck our back left toes out and over towards the left as you extend your right arm up to the sky. So you're pressing the earth away from you with your left palm. And then let's add in side body stretches and a shoulder opener. So sweep your right arm towards the front of the room, right bicep in line with your ear, and then begin to sweep your right fingertips down towards the mat and then back up to the sky. Nice and slow, just like a little windmill, windmill <laughs> with your right shoulder. Keep your core strong to help with balance. Good. Keep pressing the earth away from you with your left palm. Rolling your heart up open to the sky. We'll do two more on this side. Good. And then on your next inhale, I can't count. On your next inhale, bring your right arm back up to the sky. Begin to square your chest, your hips down towards the mat. Come back to tabletop. Add on any wrist stretches on the left side. Continue your cat-cow flow. Keep the connection to your breath. Give your body whatever you need. Good. Two more breaths wherever you are. And then on your next inhale, meet back in neutral tabletop, readjust your foundation. Good. When you're ready, extend your left leg long behind you, left heels in line with your left tip, tuck your back right toes. And then from here, left knee to left tricep to crunch. Good job. Inhale, extend left leg long. Exhale, left knee to right tricep to crunch and twist. Inhale, left leg long. Keep that going. Exhale, left knee to left tricep, really press the earth away. Inhale, left leg extends long. Exhale, left knee to right tricep. Good. Inhale, left leg long behind you. Exhale, left knee to left tricep. 
One more. Inhale, extend left leg long. And exhale, left knee to right tricep to crunch and twist. Perfect. Inhale, extend left leg long. Tap your left toes down to the mat. Roll onto the inner edge of your left foot. You can tuck your back right toes out and over towards the right. Right palm stays planted. Left arm sweeps up to the sky. Good. So really press the earth away from you with your right palm. <clears throat> and then adding in the side body stretch, begin to sweep your left arm towards the front of the room. Biceps in line with your ear. Nice and slow. Sweep your fingertips down towards the mat and then back up to the sky. Good. So keep that going as we stretch and lengthen our left side body. Opening up your left shoulder, your shoulder blade. Keep your core strong. We'll do a few more on the left side. See if you can roll your heart up open to the sky a tiny bit more. Good. On your next inhale, bring your left arm back up to the sky. Find your way back down a tabletop. Tap your left knee down. Add on any wrist stretches on the right side. Continue your cat cow flow, whatever you need. Good. Keeping the connection to your breath. And then on your next inhale, meet back in tabletop. Let's add in another shoulder opener, more of a heart opener. So just make sure your hips are stacked directly above your knees. Walk your palms away from you as you melt your chest, your heart down towards the mat for your extended puppy pose. If you want a neck stretch, release your chin down. If that doesn't feel good, release your third eye, your forehead down to the mat. Good. Breathing into your shoulder opener as you sway your low back. Inhale in through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. On your next inhale, lift yourselves up. Walk your palms closer towards you. And then when you're ready, tuck your toes, send your hips high, downward facing dog. Good, so in down dog, fingertips are spread wide as you press the earth away from you. Send your shoulders down the back, a little bit more of a bend into your knees as you sway your hips side to side. Maybe pedal out your knees. Keeping the connection to your breath, inhale in through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. Good. On your next inhale, look to the top of the mat, hop or walk, meet your hands coming into your halfway lift. <clears throat> exhale to fold forward, bend your knees as much as you'd like. Feel free to come into ragdoll, grabbing opposite elbows, gently swing side to side to help release and open up your low back. Good. You can shake your head. Yes. Shake your head no to help release and open up your neck. Hinging deeper from your hips. Then on your next inhale, meet back and center, release the bind. Slowly begin to roll on up one vertebrae at a time. Nice and slow, head comes up last. Once you come on up, roll your shoulders up and down the back away from your ears. Good, inhale, hands sweep up to the sky, palms come a touch. Exhale, pull your gratitude down to your heart, hands meet at heart center. Inhale, hands sweep up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, lead with your heart. Halfway lift on your inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your palms. Step back to plank. Option to stay in high plank or drop down to your knees as you lower all the way down through your chaturanga. Lead with your chest. Release your chest, hips, tops of your toes down to the mat. Good. Inhale, lift your heart, baby cobra or cobra. Soften your shoulders. Exhale, slowly lower back down. We'll do that two more times to give love to our spine. Inhale, lift your heart up just a bit higher. Gaze follows. Exhale, slowly lower back down. Good job. One more. Inhale, lift your heart up even higher. Engage your glutes. Take pressure out of your low back. And exhale, slowly lower your chest back down. Press back through tabletop or plank back to downward facing dog. Good. Send your hips high to the sky. Inhale in through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. On your next inhale, look to the top of the mat. Hop or walk. Meet your hands. Halfway lift. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale. Arms come out and up. Palms come a touch. Exhale. Pull your energy down to your heart. Inhale. Hands sweep up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Good. Halfway lift on your inhale. Exhale, plant your palms, step or float back, flow through your vinyasa of choice, allowing your breath to guide you through as we meet in downward facing dog. Good. Send your hips high to the sky. Inhale in through your nose. And exhale out through your mouth. 
On your next inhale, right leg sweeps high to the sky, three-legged down dog. Bring it bend into your right knee, roll your right hip over your left. Option to stay here. You can add on hip circles with your right knee, or if you're feeling it, you can flip your dog coming into wild thing. If you flip, press the earth away from you with your left palm, lift your hips up higher, roll your right shoulder open. Good, and then nice, slow and controlled. We'll flip back over. We'll all meet back in three-legged down dog, right leg high to the sky. Knee to nose, crunch right to the center. Step your right foot between your palms. Rise on up into your crescent lunge. So we're on the ball of our back left foot. Good, rise on up, biceps in line with your ears. Soften your shoulders, take an inhale. Exhale, side T twist, open to the right. Right arm comes behind you, left arm is in front of you. Inhale, come out of the twist, both arms sweep up. We'll do that two more times. Exhale, twist, open to the right. Good, inhale, both arms sweep up to the sky. And exhale, twist, open to the right. Option to stay here or release your right palm to the back of your left thigh. Left arm reaches up and towards the back of the room, sink deeper into your right knee. Perfect, on your next inhale, come out of the twist, both arms sweep up to the sky. Exhale, airplane your arms behind you, lean your chest forward. Squeeze your shoulder blades together like you're reaching your fingertips towards the back of the room. Find your focal point, shift the weight into your right foot. Come into warrior three, left heels in line with your left hip. Micro bend into your right knee, square your hips, roll your left hip down. Good job, one more inhale. On your exhale, step back to your crescent lunge. Extend your arms up to the sky. Cactus your arms, baby back bend, roll your heart open. Good job. Inhale, hands sweep up, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your palms down to the mat. Tap your left knee down to the mat, coming into our half split so you can grab onto blocks, books, whatever you have. Straightening your right leg to hinge and fold. So right toes are flexed, pointed up to the sky. Little bend into your right knee if this is pulling on your hamstring as you inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale to hinge deeper from your hips. Good. Inhale to reach the crown of your head away from you. And exhale to fold a tiny bit deeper. On your next inhale, lift your chest up. Bring a bend back into your right knee. Move the blocks out of the way. And we're just going to rise on up into our low lunge. Good. Biceps in line with your ears. Hug your right hip back. Hands come down to heart center. Lean your chest forward. And we'll prayer twist to the right. So left elbow hooks onto the outside of your right knee. Roll your right shoulder over your left. Use the strength of your core to twist as you hug your right hip back. Option to stay here. You can tuck your back left toes. Lift your left knee up. Really engage your quads to help with balance. Good. Can you roll your right shoulder open a tiny bit more? And then if you lifted your back left knee up, tap it down. Slowly come out of the twist. Extend your arms up to the sky. Take an inhale. Good job. Exhale. Plant your palms down to the mat. Step back to plank. Flow through your vinyasa of choice. Meeting in downward facing dog. Send your hips high to the sky. Inhale in through your nose. And exhale out through your mouth. Good job. On your next inhale, left leg sweeps high to the sky. Three-legged down dog. Bring a bend into your left knee. Roll your left hip over your right. If you added on hip circles on the other side, go for it. If you flipped your dog coming into wild thing, go for it on this side. Shifting the weight into your right palm as you roll your hips, your heart up open to the sky. Good job. One more inhale. Lift your hips up higher. Exhale, if you flip slowly with control, flip back over. Left leg sweeps high to the sky. Knee to nose, crunch right to the center. Step your left foot between your palms. Rise on up into your crescent lunge. So we're on the ball of our back right foot. Square your hips, hug your left hip back. Soften your shoulders. Good, side T twist, open to the left. Left arm comes behind you, right arm is in front of you. Inhale, come out of twist, both arms sweep up to the sky. We'll do that two more times. Exhale, twist open to the left. Keep actively hugging your left hip back. Good job, one more. Inhale, both arms sweep up to the sky. And exhale, twist open to the left. Option to stay here or release your left palm to the back of your right thigh. Right arm reaches up and towards the back as you sink deeper into your left knee. Good, next inhale, come out of your twist. Both arms sweep up to the sky. Exhale, airplane your arms behind you. Lean your chest forward. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Reach your fingertips towards the back of the room. Shift the weight into your left foot. Find your focal point. Come right on up into your warrior three. Square your hips. Roll your right hip down. Good. See if you can hinge deeper from your hips. One more inhale. 
Exhale, step back to your crescent lunge. Arms come up to the sky. Cactus your arms, baby back bend, roll your heart open. Good. Inhale, hands sweep up. Exhale, plant your palms down to the mat. Tap your right knee down to the mat, setting up for our half split so you can use your blocks if you'd like. Straightening your left leg to hinge and fold. Notice how your left hamstring feels compared to your right. Bend your left knee if need be as you inhale to lengthen. Exhale to hinge deeper from your hips. Perfect. Inhale to lengthen your spine. And exhale to fold a tiny bit deeper. On your next inhale, lift your chest up. Bring a bend back into your left knee. Move the blocks or whatever you have out of the way. Rise on up into your low, low lunge. Good. Soften your shoulders. Hug your left hip back. Hands come down to heart center. I love seeing you guys. And then lean forward. When you're ready, we're going to prayer twist. So hook your right elbow on the outside of your left knee. Thumbs are at heart center. Good. If you did so on the other side, tuck your back right toes, lift your right knee up. Really engage your quads. Use the strength of your core to twist even more as you roll your left shoulder open. Perfect. One more inhale. And then on your exhale, if you lifted your back right knee, plant it down, come out of your twist, extend your arms up to the sky. Good. And then plant your palms down to the mat. Step back to plank, flow through your vinyasa, knee in downward facing dog. Connect back to your breath. Inhale in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Good. Big full belly inhale. And exhale, release, sigh it out. On your next inhale, look to the top of the mat. Hop or walk. Meet your hands. Halfway lift. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, arms come out and up. Palms come a touch. Exhale, pull your strength down to your heart. Inhale, hands sweep up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. From your forward fold, heel toe your feet together, big toes, heels come a touch. Large bend into your knees, right on up into your chair. Good. So look down, make sure you can see all 10 toes. If not, sink deeper in chair. Take an inhale. Exhale, side T twist open to the left. Left arm comes behind you, right arm is in front of you. Good. Inhale, come out of the twist. Both arms sweep up to the sky. Exhale, side T twist, open to the right. Right arm is behind you. Sink deeper in chair. Inhale, come out of the twist. Both arms sweep up. Exhale, fold forward. Lead with your heart. Halfway lift on your inhale. Flat back. Exhale, plant your palms. Step or float back. Flow through your vinyasa of choice. Meeting in downward facing dog. Allowing your breath to guide you through. Good. Inhale in through your nose. And exhale out through your mouth. On your next inhale, right leg sweeps high to the sky, three-legged down dog. Exhale, right knee to right tricep to crunch, stacking shoulders above wrists. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, right knee to left tricep to crunch and twist, fall in triangle, shoot your right leg through. Roll onto the inner edge of your left foot. Left arm sweeps up to the sky. Press the earth away from you with your right palm. Use the strength of your core to lift your hips up higher. Good job. One more inhale. Exhale, come on out. Left palm down. Right leg sweeps high to the sky. Knee to nose. Crunch right to the center. Step your right foot between your palms. And then from here, rise on up into your crescent lunge. Good. Biceps in line with your ears. Hug your right hip back. Good. Side T twist, open to the right. Right arm comes behind you. Left arm is in front of you. Hug your right hip back. Inhale, come out of the twist. Both arms sweep up. Exhale, airplane your arms behind you. Lean your chest forward. Find your focal point. Shift the weight into your right foot. Left heel is in line with your left hip for your warrior three. Good. And then from here, extend your arms out long in front of you. Reach your fingertips towards the front of the room. One more inhale. Exhale, step back to your crescent lunge. Arms come up to the sky. Good. Hands come down to heart center. Lean your chest forward as you prayer twist to the right. Left elbow hooks onto the outside of your right knee. Roll your right shoulder over your left. And then keep this prayer twist. Shift your gaze out in front of your right toes. We're going to shift the weight into our right foot. Step the ball of your left foot up to meet your right for your chair prayer twist. And then keep the weight shifted into your right foot. Step the ball of your left foot behind you. Perfect. Slowly come out of the twist. Extend your arms up to the sky. 
Woo, cactus your arms, baby back bend, roll your heart open. Inhale, hands sweep up. Exhale, open up into your warrior two. So you're hugging your left hip back, track your right knee towards your outer right pinky toe. Gaze is lined with your front middle finger. Straighten your right leg. Reach towards the front of the room, hinging out of your right hip, release in a triangle. Good, right fingertips come down to your shin. Ankle or block, left arm is up to the sky. Imagine that there's a wall behind you, lean back on that wall as you roll your left shoulder open a tiny bit more. Good, on your next inhale, come back up into your warrior two. And then from your warrior two, bring your hands to heart center. We're gonna skindasana to the back of the mat. So large bend into your left knee or on the heel of our right foot. Maybe you wanna release your fingertips down to the mat, that's okay. Readjust if need be. Right toes are flex point up to the sky. Yeah, see if you can sink deeper into your hips. Take an inhale. And then on your exhale, plant your fingertips down. We're gonna straighten our legs coming into our prasarita, our wide-legged forward fold. So you're hinging from your hips as you lead the crown of your head down towards the mat. Good, and just notice how your hips, your hamstrings, your low back feels. Feel free to add in a twist. You can add in a shoulder opener. You can inch your fingertips between your heels, coming deeper into the fold. Just give yourself what you need, honor your body. Two more breaths wherever you are. And then on your next inhale, meet back in center. You guys know that whenever we have low energy, that means it's time for an inversion. So plant your palms down. Fingertips are spread wide. Make sure that your palms are shoulder width apart. Shift your shoulders forward past your wrists a tiny bit. Bend your knees and then practice kicking up into your straddle handstand. Doesn't matter how high you kick up, just little baby kicks. Yay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Super strong core, quads and glutes as you practice floating up into the air. Yes, good job, one more. And then once you land, from here we're gonna meet in runner's lunge towards the front of the room. So just begin to frame your right foot, spiral onto the ball of your back left foot. Keep your left palm planted, right arm sweeps up to the sky for a twist. Good, hug your right hip back. Stay here or roll onto the outer edge of your left foot. Stack your right heel on top of your left first side plank or come into supported side plank. Either way, you're pressing the earth away from you with your left palm. Lift your hips up higher, one more inhale. Exhale, come back to high plank. Good job, flow through your vinyasa, meet in downward facing dog. Connect back to your breath, inhale in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Big full belly inhale. And exhale, release, sigh it out. Good, on your next inhale, left leg sweeps high to the sky, three-legged down dog. Exhale, left knee to left tricep to crunch, stacking shoulders above wrists. Inhale, left leg high to the sky. Exhale, left knee to right tricep to crunch and twist, fall in triangle, shoot your left leg through. Roll onto the inner edge of your right foot, right arm sweeps up to the sky. Press the earth away from you through left palm, lift your hips up higher, one more inhale. Good job, exhale, come on out, right palm down, left leg high to the sky. Knee to nose, crunch right to the center, step your left foot between your palms, rise on up into your crescent lunge. Good, biceps in line with your ears, hug your left hip back, side T twist open to the left, left arm comes behind you, right arm is in front of you, keep hugging your left hip back. Good, inhale, come out of the twist, both arms sweep up to the sky. Exhale, airplane your arms behind you, lean your chest forward. Reach your fingertips towards the back of the room, find your focal point, shift the weight into your left foot, right heel comes in line with your right hip. Keep a micro bend into your left knee, square your hips, roll your right hip down. Good, extend your arms out long in front of you, take an inhale. Exhale, step back into your crescent lunge, arms up to the sky, and cactus your arms, baby back bend, roll your heart open. Perfect, inhale, hands sweep up. Exhale, hands come down to heart center. I almost forgot about this. Lean your chest forward as we prayer twist to the left. Right elbow hooks onto the outside of your left knee. Roll your left shoulder over your right. Good, so shift your gaze out in front of your left toes. Shift the weight into your left foot. Step your right foot up to meet your left for our chair prayer twist. Hug your left hip back, sink deeper in a chair. Perfect, and then shift the weight back into your left foot. Tap the ball of your right foot behind you. Slowly come out of the twist, extend your arms up to the sky. 
Woo. And cactus your arms, baby back bend, roll your heart open. Inhale, hands sweep up, lengthen your spine. Exhale, open up into your warrior two. Good. Hug your right hip back, track your left knee toward your our left pinky toe. Gaze is aligned with your front middle finger. And then from here, straighten your left leg. Reach towards the front of the room, hinging out of your left hip, release in a triangle. Left fingertips are down to your shin, ankle or block, right arm is up to the sky. So on this side, focus on rolling your bottom left rib cage up to the sky as you sink deeper into your left hip. Perfect. On your next inhale, come back up into your warrior two. And then from your warrior two, bring your hands to heart center. We're going to skindasana to the back of the mat. So large bend into your right knee. We're on the heel of our left foot. Left toes are flex point up to the sky. Maybe you want to release your fingertips down to the mat or maybe hands stay at heart center. Or maybe you want to open up your arms, adding in a side body stretch. I don't know. Keep your core strong. One more inhale wherever you are. And then on your exhale, release your fingertips down to the mat, straighten both legs. Make sure that your feet are parallel towards the edges of the mat and then hinge from your hips coming into our wide legged forward fold. If you want a shoulder opener, you can interlace your fingers behind your low back, palms high to the sky. Give yourself whatever you need. Maybe you want a heart opener as well. Just think of hinging from your hips as you lead the crown of your head down towards the mat. Good job. A few more breaths wherever you are. Maybe a twist if you'd like. And then whatever you're working on, we'll meet back in center. Good. Come on up halfway lift and set up for our straddle handy stand on this side. So fingertips are spread wide. Palms are down to the mat. Shift your shoulders past your wrists a bit. Come up onto the balls of your feet. Bend your knees. Press the earth away from you as you practice kicking up into your straddle handstand. Yay, good job. So really use the strength of your core, your quads, your glutes to lift your booty, your legs up in the air, reaching your heels away from you. Good job. One more straddle handstand. Yay. And then once you land, we're going to rotate to runner's lunge on the left. So palms frame your left foot. You're on the heel of your back, or not your heel, the ball of your back right foot. Keep your right palm planted, left arm sweeps up to the sky for a twist. Stay here or roll onto the outer edge of your right foot. Stack your left heel on top of your right for side plank. Press the earth away from you with your right palm. Lift your hips up higher. Good job. One more inhale. Exhale, come back to high plank. Flow through your vinyasa. Meet in downward facing dog. Allow your breath to guide you through. Good. Give yourself what you need to connect back to your breath, either down dog or child's pose. Inhale in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Big full belly inhale. And exhale, release, sigh it out. Good. On your next inhale, look to the top of the mat. Hop or walk, meet your hands, halfway lift. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, arms come out and up, palms come a touch. Exhale, pull your power down to your heart. Inhale, hands sweep up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. From your forward fold, heel toe your feet together, big toes, heels to touch, large bend into your knees, right back up in a chair. Good, so from here, airplane your arms behind you, reach your fingertips towards the back of the room. Yep, and then find your focal point, lift your heels up, coming into your drinking bird. So you're on the balls of your feet, Good. So keep squeezing your shoulder blades together. Super strong core with your heels lifted. Can you bring a larger bend into your knees? Engage your calves, your quads, your glutes. Lift, lift, lift. One more inhale. Yes. And then exhale, release your heels down to fold forward. Give your legs a little shake whenever you need. Halfway lift on your inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your palms, step or float back. Flow through your vinyasa of choice, meeting in downward facing dog. Melt your chest towards your thighs. Inhale in through your nose. And exhale out through your mouth. Good. On your next inhale, right leg sweeps high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Crunch right to the center. Step your right foot between your palms. Rise on up into your crescent lunge. Hug your right hip back. Adding in our side T-twist again. Right arm comes behind you. Left arm is in front of you. 
So this time, keeping the twist, shift your gaze down in front of your right toes. We're gonna begin to come into our revolved half moon. So begin to lean forward and grab onto your block with your left palm or release your left fingertips down to the mat. Shift the weight into your right foot, left heel is in line with your left hip. Good, keep rolling your right shoulder open. Square your hips, roll your left hip down. One more inhale. On your exhale, we'll step back to our crescent lunge. Keep that twist, right arm is behind you. Good, and then release your right palm to the back of your left thigh. Left arm reaches up and towards the back of the room. Sink deeper into your right knee. Inhale, come out of the twist, both arms sweep up. Exhale, open up into your warrior two. <sighs> Track your right knee towards your outer right pinky toe. Soften your shoulders. Straighten your right leg. Reach towards the front of the room, hinge out of your right hip. Release in a triangle. Good, can you sink deeper into your right hip as you roll your left shoulder, your left hip open? One more inhale. On your exhale, use the strength of your core to come back up into your warrior two. Good, flip your front palm up to the sky, reverse your warrior, right arm reaches towards the back. And come right on through into your extended side angle. Right elbow to right thigh, left arm reaches towards the front. Setting up for our half moon, you can bring your left palm to your left hip, shift your gaze out in front of your right toes, shift the weight into your right foot. Again, grab onto whatever prop you have at home, roll your left hip over your right. And then once you have your balance, extend your left arm up to the sky. Good job. Option to stay here, or you can come in a sugar cane by bringing a bend into your left knee, sweep your left hand back, maybe catch the top of your foot. If you took sugar cane, really press your hand into your foot, your foot into your hand, rolling your left shoulder open just a bit more. Good job, you guys. One more inhale. On your exhale, we're going to begin to square our chest, our hips down towards the mat, coming into your standing splits. So left heel is high to the sky. You can grab onto the back of your right calf, your right ankle, as you melt your chest down towards your right thigh. Good. Can you bring your left heel higher up to the sky? Engage your left quad, your left glute. One more inhale. On your exhale, step back to your runner's, ah, your runner's lunge. Keep your left palm planted, right arm sweeps up to the sky. Good. And then from here, roll onto the outer edge of your left foot. Begin to heel toe your right foot away from you. So your right heel is in line with your right hip. And then we're going to track our outer left hip down towards the mat, sinking into your hips. Keep reaching your right fingertips up to the sky. Good. One more inhale. And then on your exhale, come on out, plant your right palm down, step back to plank, flow through your vinyasa, mean and downward facing dog. Good. Allow your breath to guide you through. Mm. I just shot water out of my mouth. Classy. Good. Wherever you are, inhale in through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. Woo. One more side. So from down dog, left leg sweeps high to the sky, three-legged down dog. Knee to nose, crunch right to the center. Step your left foot between your palms. Rise on up into your crescent lunge. Good. Hug your left hip back. Really engage your quads. And then from here, side T twist open to the left. The left arm comes behind you. Right arm is in front of you. Shift your gaze down in front of your right toes. I mean left toes. Begin to hinge from your hips. Release your right fingertips down to the mat or down to the block, coming into your revolved half moon. Good. So right heels in line with your right hip. Square your hips. Hug your left hip back. Really roll your left shoulder open. Breathe into your twist. Yes. One more inhale. And then on your exhale, we'll step back to our crescent lunge. Keep that twist. Left arm is behind you. And then release your left palm to the back of your right thigh. Right arm reaches up and towards the back of the room. Sink deeper into your left knee. Perfect. Inhale, come out of the twist. Both arms sweep up to the sky. Exhale, open up into your warrior two. Hug your right hip back. Track your left knee towards your left pinky toe. Soften your shoulders. Straighten your left leg. Reach towards the front of the room. Hinging out of your left tip. Release into triangle. Good. Really just focus on rolling your right shoulder open as you roll your bottom left rib cage up to the sky. Sink deeper into your left tip. And then on your next inhale, come back up into your warrior two. Good job. From here, flip your front palm up to the sky, reverse your warrior. Left arm reaches towards the back, sink deeper into your left knee. And come right on through into your extended side angle, left elbow to left thigh. Right arm reaches towards the front. 
roll your right shoulder open your right hip open bring your right palm to your right hip shift your gaze down in front of your left toes to set up for your half moon pose grab onto a block a book whatever you have at home shift the weight into your left foot as you roll your right hip over your left good and then once you have your balance extend your right arm up to the sky option to stay here or come into sugar cane by catching the top of your right foot pressing your foot into your hand your hand into your foot Wherever you are, can you roll your right shoulder open a tiny bit more? Good job, one more inhale. And then on your exhale, if you took the bind, release. Set up for your standing splits. Begin to square your chest, your hips down towards the mat. Right heel is in line with your right hip. You can grab onto the back of your left thigh as you guide your chest closer towards, I mean, your left ankle. Huh? As you guide your chest closer towards your left thigh. Good, engage your right quad, your right glute, reach your right heel higher, one more inhale. Good job, guys. And then exhale, step back to your runner's lunge. Right palm stays planted, left arm sweeps up to the sky. We'll roll onto the outer edge of your right foot, heel toe your left foot away from you. So your left heel's in line with your left hip, and then track your outer right hip down towards the mat. Sinking into your hips. Keep reaching your left fingertips up to the sky. Good job, one more inhale. Exhale, come on out, left palm down, step back to plank, flow through your vinyasa or skip it, meaning in downward facing dog. Good, connect back to your breath, inhale in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Big full belly inhale. And exhale, release, sigh it out. On your next inhale, right leg sweeps high to the sky, three-legged down dog. Exhale, right knee towards the outermost edge of the mat. Release your right shin down. So we're gonna do activated pigeon, which is so freaking fun. So all it is is your left knee is down. And then from here, you're gonna walk your fingertips towards you. Bring your hands to heart center. So we're really using the strength of our quads, our glutes, our core to activate this pigeon. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the no hands game. So try to keep your hands at heart center. And then you're gonna roll onto the outer edge of your right hip, bring your knees through center, and then release your left shin towards the back of the mat, root your right knee down, tuck your back right toes, lift on up into your activated pigeon facing the back of the room. That's really fun, huh? So you're using the strength of your quad, your glutes to lift on up, and then roll onto the outer edge of that hip. Knees come back to center, and then readjust facing the other way. So go at your own pace, nice, slow, and controlled, and just see what it feels like to really activate your quads, your glutes, your core, to be able to lift, use those muscles to lift yourselves up into your activated pigeon. Good job, we'll do one more on each side. Nice and slow. We started on the right, so make sure that you get back on the left too, just to even out. But we'll even out either way. So one more on the left, hug your left hip back. And then from here, we'll come back, good job. We'll come back to our activated pigeon on the right and then turn this into sleeping pigeon. So let's give ourselves a break. Fingertips down. You can lift up a little bit. You can place a block, blanket, bolster, pillow, whatever you have underneath your right thigh. Square your hips, hug your right hip back, come back to center and just begin to hinge from your hips to fold forward. Melting your chest, your heart down towards the mat. Good, sinking and surrendering into your hips. Allowing your breath to guide you deeper into your pigeon pose. Good, inhale in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Big full belly inhale. And exhale, release, sigh it out. Good job, and then on your next inhale, we'll slowly lift ourselves up. And then all you wanna do is roll onto the outer edge of your right hip, lift your, your knees up through center, and then release to the back of the mat. So left chin is down, you wanna prop up onto your right knee, place whatever you have, blanket, bolster, block underneath your left thigh, hug your left hip back, come all the way down. Good, you can look over your left shoulder back at your right heel and then come back to center. Hinge from your hips to fold forward. Coming on down into your sleeping pigeon pose. And just noticing and honoring the difference on the side of your body. 
Good. Hugging your left hip back as you roll your outer right hip down towards the mat. Keeping the connection to your breath. Inhale in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Good. Big full belly inhale. And exhale, release, sigh it out. And then on your next inhale, find your way back up onto your palms. Good. And the way to come out of this is just roll onto the outer edge of your left hip and then sweep your right leg out long in front of you so that you're facing, doesn't matter if you're facing the back of the mat or the front, just scoot towards the top or the back of the mat, wherever you are. Plant your feet down, bend into your knees. Nice long spine, extend your arms out long in front of you. Reach your fingertips towards the front of the room. Take an inhale. And on your exhale, nice and slow, begin to lower on down one vertebrae at a time, using the strength of your core oops, to lower on down. Super, super, super slow. Releasing your head down last. Good. And then once you come on down, let's set up for a shoulder stand. If shoulder stand is not in your practice or if you're not feeling it, you can come into modified legs up the wall. But all I want to do is root your elbows down next to you, roll your hips up, bring your palms to your low back to support. Use the strength of your quads, your glutes, your core to stack your hips above your shoulders. So you have the option to stay here. You can add in any leg variation, like tree pose if you'd like. You can bring the soles of your feet together, allow your knees to fall out to the sides for a hip opener and shoulder stand. Or if you want to move into your hamstrings, you can come into plow pose. Just listen to your body. Maybe try all of them. And just remembering to breathe. Got a few more breaths wherever you are. One more breath. Inhale in through your nose. And exhale out through your mouth. And then if you're in shoulder stand, you can bend your knees. Bring your knees close towards your ears. And then begin to lower on down one vertebrae at a time. Super, super, super slow. Good. Once you come on down, we'll come right into our happy baby. So grabbing either the inside or outside soles of your feet, peeling your knees apart, and just noticing how your hips, your hamstrings, your low back feels now compared to the beginning of practice. Rocking side to side if you'd like. Uh, keeping the connection to your breath. Inhale in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Big full belly inhale. And exhale, release, sigh it out. And then slowly release, happy baby. Plant your feet down to the mat. With a bend into your knees, arms come out to a T or cactus. Allow your knees to fall to the left. Gaze falls gently to the right. And just softening and surrendering into your twist. Ringing out the organs on the side of your body. And then on your next inhale, slowly sweep your knees back up to the sky. And allow your knees to fall to the right. Gaze falls gently to the left. And releasing and relaxing into the twist on this side of your body. Being mindful that your shoulder blades are rooted down towards the mat. And then on your next inhale, sweep your knees back up to the sky. And then yogi's choice, what pose shape does your body need right now? Without even thinking about it, just allow your breath to guide you into one final shape. Maybe it's fish, maybe it's bridge, maybe it's wheel, maybe another shoulder stand. Whatever it may be, just allow your breath to guide you into your final shape giving yourself what you need. Good. Keeping the connection to your breath. 
If you're doing a pose that requires both sides, you can switch now. And two more breaths wherever you are. Inhale in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Good, big full belly inhale. And exhale, release, sigh it out. And then wherever you are, slowly begin to find your way back onto your spines. Coming all the way down. And once you come down onto your backs, hug your knees in towards your chest, giving yourselves a loving hug. Squeeze into a tiny little ball, bring your forehead towards your knees. Take an inhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And exhale, release, coming into your final resting pose whatever that may look like for you. And just begin to release, relax all the muscles in your body, including the ones in your face. And breathing in only love, peace, and acceptance for yourself as you release deeper and deeper into the mat, coming into your final Shavasana. You have the option to stay in this final resting pose for as long as you'd like. You can always mute me or turn off the screen. Whenever you feel ready, slowly begin to bring the awareness back into your body by allowing your breath to come back in first. And bringing physical movement back in by gently wiggling fingers wiggling toes, rolling out wrists and ankles. When you feel ready, stretching arms overhead for a full body stretch, bring the energy lines back in from your fingertips down through your toes. Take an inhale to lengthen, reach, reach, reach. And exhale to release and soften. Hug your knees in towards your chest, giving yourself a loving hug and roll onto whichever side of the body feels best to you in fetal position. Cradling your head in your arm and taking this moment to connect back to your breath, back to your body, and back to your intention that you set for yourself in the beginning of practice. and trusting in whatever downloads come your way for the universe, trusting in those feelings, those callings that come your way, and just allowing yourself to say yes to you. Whenever you feel ready, use the strength of your arm to lift yourself up into a seat, keeping your eyes closed, Crossing one ankle in front of the other. Good. Hands meet our heart center and Anjali Mudra. And we'll sit up just a bit taller. Take a big full belly inhale into your nose. And open your mouth. Sigh it out. Release that go. And thank you for taking the time to join me today for your practice, for honoring your body, and for empowering yourself. And from the light within me to light within each of you, namaste. Woo, thank you ladies, that was so fun. Yay.